Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide. And I'm going to be doing another intuitive reading for my sun, moon, and rising signs for Leo. This could also be placements in your north node, guys. As you see, we have the lover's card coming out here in the reverse for signifying for Gemini, as well as the temperance card. Um, both in the reverse. So someone does not have balance here in the situation when it comes to these lovers and they are deciding to separate. These two lovers are deciding to separate at this time. Someone could have been blinded and deciding that they want to take you know, the blindfold off and go in Herman mode to reflect on um, what happened in their past relationship. We have pathway, the number 35 could be significant to someone. You could be 35 at this time. This could have happened when you were 35. 26 is significant, great fortune. There's a change coming. Someone could be walking into great fortune after leaving a relationship behind. This could be someone who is a spiritual person, who is a child of the divine. This is someone who's blessed, highly blessed. A privileged lady, yeah. 12 is significant. 1226 could be significant. 1218, 12, 9. Sagittarius. Someone could be walking away from a relationship to start a spiritual relationship or someone is starting a spiritual relationship with themselves with the lovers coming out someone is walking away from a relationship that could have been toxic so that they can you know it could have been a hot and cold relationship but this is so that they are able to pretty much go and self-reflect as well as ground themselves and become a better person. Leo, 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 Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, this could be you right now. You could have just decided to break up. You don't want to be in cuffing season with someone at this time. At this moment, you could be wanting to just protect yourself. Yep. From being blinded. Yeah, you want to grow the nine of pentacles. You're trying to get in your bag. You're not worried about a relationship at this time. Yeah. You're seeing things for what they are. Yep. Yeah. You're moving away. The knight of wands, six of swords. You're going towards something. You have your eyes set towards something. And for me, at this time, I believe that is your finances. Spirit, clarify the six of swords. What is we are going towards? Three of wands and cards. Could have been stagnant. Your money could have been slow or put on hold for a while. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you could have, you know, lost a lot of money. You could have lost a lot of money. Spirit clarified this King of Pentacles in reverse. So you could be getting ready to lose a lot of money. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups in reverse as well. You're not able to do a lot of things that you are doing or you won't be able to really soon. Your goal could have been in this past relationship to have a lot. But you are going from the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles, well, 
Your goal is to obtain, to sustain your money because you're the king of pentacles. But something happened in a situation. You could have, you know, lost a lot in a relationship, which caused you to lose financially as well. You know, you could have been over partying, over indulging as well. You could have, you know, had a lot of rendezvous is what I'm hearing spirits say. You needed to move out of that energy, move away from it with the Six of Swords, Knight of Wands coming out. You did that, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah. We have the Magician in the reverse, the Tower in the reverse. You could have been obsessively trying to prevent an ending. I mean, yeah, prevent an ending from taking place in your life where, where that's with this relationship. But spirit had to stop that, had to end this relationship for you. Yeah. You could have had some poor planning with King of Wands in the upright and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You're in a place where you you weren't being, you know, fulfilled. You weren't being emotionally fulfilled, for sure. You could have been, you know, feeling your self-worth could have been down for a while. You could, you could have not been standing in your power. You could have given your power over to someone. Yeah, you didn't have any strength. You could have stayed in something for too long with this Gemini. Aquarius, Scorpio. Taurus and Leo. We have the Four of Wands. But something has come to an end. You could have been engaged to someone and decided to break that off with the lovers in reverse. You could have decided to go on a you know, a spiritual um, cleanse or a spiritual awakening as well. You could have decided that you wanted to get a lot of toxic people out of your life. Yeah, but someone could have resented that. You have the devil in reverse, the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, someone didn't want for you to become better. This queen of wands in reverse did not want for you to become better. That was not in their plans. They became very defensive and upset with you when you decided to cut off and stop, you know, all of this partying, you know, overindulging. You decided, you know, that you were getting ready to walk away. They could have refused for you to walk away. Could have told you you can't walk away. Could have threatened you if you walk away, you know. Or they could have started making promises to you that if you don't walk away, that they will give you, they will give you gifts. They will buy you things if you will stay. Just don't leave. This person was trying to get you to stop not to leave with this three of wands. You are leaving this um, queen of wands in reverse. You are leaving them because you felt like they were bringing them down, bringing you down. You could have had a family with this person and you decided to leave because you guys were not, you know, winning together. You guys were losing more than you were winning. Yeah, you guys were facing a lot of bad karma together. You guys only had a little bit of money. You guys could have been partying like y'all had a lot of money. But y'all wasn't headed in the right direction. Yeah. The star, Aquarius, we have the will, again, Aquarius, we have Scorpio, again, we have Taurus and Leo, but someone's family dynamic broke up, someone was in a family with someone that was toxic, they both could have been toxic for each other, they both could have caused each other to lose, with this will of fortune coming out in reverse, someone could have, you know, been trying to prevent an ending for a cycle to not close. Someone was trying to keep the cycle open and someone refused to walk away. Yeah, someone was trying to hold someone back from walking away.
what will happen if this um if this king of wands walked away spirit what's going to happen what's going to be the outcome of this king of wands which i believe is you leo that is you leo yeah king of wands that's you let's see what's going to happen if you walk away and you go in a different direction Someone could be hoping that you're not creative if you walk away from them. You're going to be a leader. You're going to be the king of swords. You're going to be a leader. Yeah. You're be a leader for sure. Someone wants to keep you mine. You're going to be in your ace of pentacles if you walk away from this relationship by you choosing to walk away you're going to have your ace of pentacles spirit clarify this ace of pentacles who will um, this king of wands who will we all have this ace of pentacles with what is this leo ace of pentacles um ideal person or who is their ideal person that is soon to come in their future spirit you could be experiencing someone else coming in your future that is going to be or you're walking away from an imprint and you could be trying to avoid that you might have to stand up to someone who might come towards you in your near future that is going to be karmic again you're going to be tested with this ace of wands in the upright you're going to have to, you're going to be tested and you're going to have to stand up and be brave it might be hard for you to do so not going to be good for you this is someone who's going to come back and be karma for you but you're going to eventually have a queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio that is going to be there for you yep someone could have been trying to keep you guys apart This person that they were with. They could have left this person to be with this Queen of Cups. But are at a standstill right now. Not able to go towards her at this time. But yeah. This person is going to go and be with a Karmic. And then eventually they're going to have an Ace of Cups. With a Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But that is what I have for you at this time, guys. Um, but um, someone who is going to be coming towards you, which is going to be this karmic person, this imprint in reverse, it is going to be a queen of swords, which is going to be an air sign. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. One of those air signs will be coming towards you in your near future. After you complete that cycle, you will be having a queen of cups coming towards you, which is going to be emotionally fulfilling as well as want to be nurturing and you'll be able to build with this person and collaborate with this person um so guys um please do thumbs up the video this is going to conclude um this part of this um reading guys for you all i am closing it out thank you all for um your attention thank you for coming to my channel if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel by clicking that red subscription button and thumbs up thumbs up this video guys i look forward to seeing you all again and to all of my returning subscribers and family and soul um tribe guys thank you for stopping in i'll see you soon bye